Hey you guys, welcome up back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about IO Tell It Right. So I have some interesting information about IO that I wanted to share with you guys. But first, before I share the information, let's just go over who IO is. So IO Tell It Right, he testified on behalf of the defense at the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard defamation trial. IO testified that he met Amber at the end of 2011, that he was in LA, he was working as a photographer, he was also working as an author at the New York Times or for the New York Times. Now, he said that he and Amber became really good friends. Amber and Johnny Depp started dating around 2012, and I.O. was introduced to Johnny Depp because he and Amber were such good friends. He said while on the stand that he and Johnny Depp become really good friends as well, even at one point testifying that it was after like the second or third meeting, uh, you know, where he met Johnny Depp, that Johnny kind of called him to the side and was like, listen, dude, I think I love you, you know, like, I like hanging out with you. I think you're a solid person. I get a good vibe from you. And I know this is weird, but I don't know. I just feel like I love you. And I always said that he felt the same way, that he felt this weird and wild connection to Johnny Depp. And he said he told Johnny Depp, you know, yeah, I, I felt that. I feel the same thing. So he said they became super close, even though that he was, you know, really good friends with Amber, that he was super close to Johnny Depp as well. And he testified to that. He testified that he was really good friends with Johnny Depp. Oftentimes, Johnny Depp would reach out to him, you know, concerning Amber. And he said because he was friends with Amber first, that he told Johnny Depp that he would do anything to help them. He would give him advice, give Amber advice, but he never wanted to cross any lines where he felt like he was betraying Amber by uh, talking to Johnny Depp over Amber or anything like that. But he still was such a good friend that he would give Johnny Depp advice. There was an instance where, you know, there was a, a argument that broke out and IO came over and he sat by the pool with Johnny Depp and talked to Johnny Depp about this fight that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard had had. IO testified that at some point he moved in to one of Johnny Depp's homes on Sweetser, that he lived in one of Johnny Depp's homes for about nine months. IO said that he was present for Amber and Johnny Depp's wedding. He said that essentially he was like, the best man for Amber because him and Amber were so close, but he was super close with Johnny as well. He said he remembers uh, walking out, you know, with uh, Johnny Depp and Jack and them having conversations about the fact that, you know, they did it, that him telling Johnny Depp, you know, y'all did it, y'all got married, y'all made it. I testified that he stopped considering Johnny Depp a good friend in late 2015, around December 2015. However, he didn't go into detail as to what led to this. Like, why did they stop being friends? Was there a falling out? Did something happen? He didn't give any details. And that was something that I was hoping that Johnny Depp's side would ask. Because one thing that I noticed is that Amber Heard's side, they're bringing in a lot of ex-employees, you know, um, the accountant that allegedly stole all this money from Johnny Depp. And they're not asking, well, why are you no longer employed by Johnny Depp? Why are you no longer the accountant? What, you know, what caused you and Johnny Depp to have issues? They're not bringing up, they're not asking what happened. Because I feel like a lot of these people that are testifying on behalf of Amber, the reason they are no longer close to Johnny is because a lot of them screwed him over in some in some way, you know, and I feel like that would be important for the jurors to know that, that they didn't themselves quit being friends with Johnny because of something that he did, but it was Johnny that stopped being friends with them or fired them because things they did personally to him. And I.O. is one of those people. The reason that I.O. and Johnny stopped being friends was because I.O. did something to Johnny that bothered him. So let's go ahead and let's get into that. Sometime in 2013, I.O. decided to start this project called The Self-Evident Truths. So this project will consist of him taking photos of 10,000 people that are a part of the LGBTQ community. Those particular people would need to be a part of the LGBT community. However, there were a lot of other people that he wanted for the project, straight people, so to say, um, that would be a part of this project just to support it, just to say, we see you, we hear you, we support you. So not everyone that was a part of this project would be a part of the LGBT community. He needed those other people just to show support, right? The point of this project was to take 
photos of 10,000 people, a part of the LGBT community, he was going to go to Washington, D.C. Once in Washington, D.C., he would do an installation of those photos on the National Mall in front of the Washington Monument. He would fill that area up with photos of the 10,000 people that represent the LGBT community. And the purpose in doing this was a way to humanize the LGBT community to show that there's a lot of people out there. You're not alone. Like if you are a part of the LGBT community, you are not alone. There's so many people like you. And the way he used, you know, people that were straight was just for them to show their support. Before this project had really taken off and been publicized and put out there, Johnny Depp started showing his support for it. In April 2014, he went on The Ellen Show where he wore a shirt that says, We Are You. The project itself was called Self-Evident Truths, but the slogan was, We Are You. 2014, Johnny Depp wore the shirt to Ellen to promote this project. Then he was seen again going into a bookstore. He had on some baggy pants, but on the pants, there was a sticker saying, We Are You. Amber Heard was a part of this project. Several celebrities, you know, participated in this project. Johnny Depp did what he could to uh, promote it. This was 2013-2014 when he and I.O. were still really good friends. This was probably at the height of their friendship where they were best of friends, I guess you could say. Now, in mid-August 2015, I.O. posted some photos of he and Lily Rose Depp, Johnny Depp's daughter, who was 16 at the time, posted some photos of he and her wearing the, you know, the t-shirts, We Are You. Lily Rose had participated in this campaign. She wanted to be a part of it. She, she volunteered to be a part of it. And I.O. posted those photos. But under the photos, he basically congratulated her for kind of coming out. That's the way he worked it. It was almost as if she was coming out, essentially. So under the photo, he wrote, I'm so proud of my baby girl at Lily Rose Depp. She decided she wanted to be in the At Self Evident Project, and I couldn't be happier to welcome her to the family. She is a tiny gem of a good human. Now, after that, like the week following that, I.O. spoke out to media outlets where he kind of said the same thing, basically insinuated that Lily Rose was in fact a part of the LGBT community. He told this outlet that Lily Rose was one of the thousands of people that fall somewhere on the vast spectrum, being anything other than 100% straight. He also said that he welcomed Lily Rose to the family, the LGBTQ community, and he said, we love how this girl is living in her own truth, doing her part to spread acceptance and celebrate love. So it definitely seemed that I.O. was saying that Lily Rose had come out as gay or bisexual or as being a part of the LGBT community. However, that was not exactly what the case was here. So, Lily Rose actually responded to this. So, in Seventeen Magazine, this is what she had to say. She said, that was really misconstrued, the whole thing. A lot of people took it as me as coming out, but that's not what I was trying to do. I was literally doing it just to say that you don't have to label your sexuality. So many kids these days are not labeling their sexuality, and I think it's really cool. You don't have to label yourself because it's not set in stone. It's so fluid, and there's so much pressure on kids to label themselves and say, this is what I am, or this is what I like. And I was just trying to say that it's not necessary. You just don't need to label yourself. Now, because of the way that I.O. put it out there, essentially, Lily Rose felt that the message was opposite as to what she was actually trying to put out there. She says, I guess it came out the wrong way because then everyone labeled me as gay. That's not what I was trying to say. It's not like there's anything wrong with that, of course, but I did that literally just to say that you don't have to label yourself. And then everyone was like, Lily Rose Depp comes out as gay. In the end, Lily Rose said that people's sexuality isn't anyone's business. She says, I'm not saying it doesn't matter because I'm going to date whoever I'm going to date. So, it definitely seems like I.O. took Lily Rose, uh, allowed her to be a part of this campaign, and then kind of twisted the reason she was a part of it. Now, this is what Johnny Depp had to say about this. I.O. had a project called We Are You. As part of that project, he spoke to my daughter when my daughter was only 16 years old and without my knowledge or the knowledge of her mother. I.O. manipulated my daughter into doing a photo shoot for this project, which was connected to promoting LGBTQ rights. I.O. then misrepresented what my daughter had said to him in order to portray her publicly as bisexual to use my daughter to promote his project. 
My daughter was extremely distressed and upset by being used in this way, as was I. I felt that it was a huge betrayal of trust to go behind my back and then seek to publish extremely personal and false information about my 16-year-old daughter's sexuality. I've been so generous to I.O. and really sought to help him. And in return, he caused a very significant amount of distress to my daughter. After this, I had no interest in maintaining a relationship with him. For me, there was no coming back from that behavior. So that's the reason Johnny Depp and I.O. stopped being friends. And like I said, when I.O. was testifying, he said that they were like best friends at one point. That They pretty much professed their love for each other. So upon like the second meeting, Johnny Depp already felt this really strong connection to I.O., considered him one of his great friends, let him live in one of his houses rent-free, only for when I.O. was promoting this project or doing this project. He took Johnny Depp's daughter, who was 16 at the time, did not go to Johnny Depp, who was one of his good friends, to say, hey, Johnny, can Lily Rose help with this project? He didn't go to Lily Rose's mother to say, hey, can she be a part of this project? He just spoke to her, to the side, nobody knew about this, and then used her for this project, and then took what Lily Rose said as a 16-year-old saying, yeah, I don't need to identify as anything, I don't need to label myself, took that and twisted it, basically saying that she came out. So I can understand why Johnny would be upset about this if you are best friends with someone or consider someone a close friend, and then they kind of go behind your back to talk to your daughter. At this point, I owe, you know, he was just someone trying to do something that mattered, you know, do something to help the LGBTQ community that he was a part of. And he knew that by using someone like Lily Rose Depp, that it could be huge for his project. He, he had Amber Heard in this project. He had other celebrities in this project. And then he had other celebrities not participating as far as being a part of the LGBTQ community but a part of this project as a straight person saying, I support this project and the people in this community, you know, in the LGBTQ community. So obviously, I owe knowing that he's not famous, nobody knows who he is to use these, you know, bigger names like Lily Rose, it would obviously gain more traction for this project. And Maybe he knew that Johnny Depp wouldn't allow his 16-year-old daughter to be a part of it. So maybe that's why he went behind his back to do it. But either way, I feel like Johnny Depp had every right to be bothered by it. Especially, even more so, if it caused his daughter distress. To which she said that it did as well. Johnny Depp said that it did and so did Lily Rose. I remember all the press that that got. I remember reading it. Lily Rose Depp comes out as gay. Lily Rose, Lily Rose, you know. And I just thought, wow, that's a lot, okay. Can you imagine being her and not coming out as gay, but to have it everywhere just because you, you know, worked on this project with someone that you considered a close friend? You know, you can't go or do anything because now everyone's, you know, congratulating you for doing something that you did not even do. So that is why Johnny Depp and I.O. are no longer friends. That's what ended their friendship back in 2015. But Johnny Depp's attorneys, they're not really going at the witnesses as far as, you know, asking them what caused you guys to stop being friends. And I wish they would because I feel like it would tell the jurors a little bit more that it was not these people cutting Johnny Depp off and saying, I'm no longer going to be friends with you. It's actually Johnny Depp. Like most of the people that they called as witnesses, Johnny Depp either fired them or he quit being friends with them because of something they did to him. You guys, let me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? I owe and Johnny Depp, this is the reason they're not friends. He used Lily Rose to promote this project and twisted her words essentially to make it sound like she came out as gay. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.